What's up guys, TC here, and today I wanted to cover some of the commands in Starbound. Uh, I see a lot of people asking for how to use certain commands, it pops up all the time. So I figured I'd, I'd put up a video covering uh, most of the commands. I'm not going to do every single command because I don't think all of them work, and also I don't think they're all finished products, and also some of them don't really, they're not going to really apply for a while, like, like I'm not going to cover things like slash kick and slash ban because I don't think anyone's going to run a, a vanilla Starbound server. But uh, let's move along, and I'm, I'm just going to cover the ones that I found uh, were very useful, ones that have full functionality as far as I know. And uh, hopefully we can clear thing, clear some things up, and, and then people can really kind of play around with their worlds a little easier. So I think we'll start off with a slash full bright, and all this does is it removes the lighting engine. So as you can see right there, you can go down to the ground, and there's no, it just, there's no lighting. So you go down here. It doesn't get any darker. Really useful. Uh, another easy one that's really useful is uh, let's toggle that off. Oh yeah, real quick. Uh, if you wanted to know, so, um, whenever you do a command, if you hit P, it just toggles that same command, right? So I can turn off Fulbright. So uh, the other one here is um, let's do oh, time warp. Time warp is essentially just uh, it just jumps the day ahead. You, you can only go forward some, right? So we're gonna do by 200 seconds. So you see, it gets dark. Hit P. And jumps jumps in the next day. I think. I mean, the day length depends on the planet, so it's kind of hard to give you an exact amount of time. So we'll try. Oh, we'll see. You'll see. It's dark. Yeah, you're just skipping ahead. So again, that's time warp. Uh, another one that you have is a uh, slash PVP, and all that does is uh, it just turns on the ability for you to play with other uh, to fight other players. But again, I don't think it's going to be very uh, used right now because no one runs a vanilla Starbound server with like people they don't know just because the game's not finished yet. Uh, let's see what else is up here. Oh yeah, S uh, gravity. Uh, slash set gravity. Now what this will do is I believe it's on a percentage scale, right? So, and also uh, each planet has their own gravity. So let's set the gravity to, uh, let's do 1%, right? So now if I jump way up, right, and you fall super slow. So if we uh, slash set gravity to 200, that should set it to 200%. So now I go slamming into the ground again. And you can see I fall pretty quick. And I think this goes up pretty high. Set gravity 400. Oh, yeah. I can't even use the boosters to get off the ground. Yeah, that's pretty insane. And also, if you, uh, you can't break anything because there is slash reset gravity. And that returns the planet to its original gravity level. So if you feel like you broke something just do slash reset gravity and that will fix everything uh, the next little bit I want to go over is the uh, the spawning right, this is how you spawn guns, spawn items, blocks uh, even even AI like different uh, NPCs and, thing, and things in the game so I think we'll go off with a spawn gun to start things off spawn gun and the first thing you have to know is that spawn gun command works with uh, procedurally generated guns right so you can't spawn in an exact precise specific gun you can get close though. So spawn gun, the parameters are uh, spawn gun, level, and then type. So we're gonna do 10, which I believe is the limit. I, I've, I've spawned in guns at level 20, but their their numbers aren't any higher than the level 10 ones. So I think 10 is the limit. So we'll do spawn gun 10, and then we'll do common shotgun. Now what that does is that's gonna spawn in a a shotgun of the variety common, right? So there's the shotgun. If we look at it, you'll see it is a common right here on the. Well, let's pull this up. You see on the bottom of the, the shotgun thing, that is a, uh, a common type. And you can, the, the types are common, uncommon, rare, and legendary. So we can do that same command again. Spawn gun, level 10, common sniper rifle. And there we have a sniper rifle of common. Right? And now these are all procedurally generated. So if I hit that same one again, now I get a different sniper rifle. It's still a common, but it's a different design because they're procedurally made. So, uh... That's for the random ones. If you want to spawn in a, a specific gun that is not of that uh, that common or you know legendary, because you know some guns aren't like that. So like there's that uh, corrosive gun in the game. That gun has preset stats. Okay. So if we wanted to get it like let's see slash spawn gun, we there's no level to it, right? So it wouldn't work. So this won't work here. Corrosive gun. Yeah. See, just an error. So if we wanted that, we'd have to use spawn item. Spawn item. Corrosive gun. So there's the corrosive gun. Now that's because this is a preset gun, right? There's no level to this. So if you look here, 
those stats, no matter how many times you find this gun, they will always be the exact same. So if you want a very specific gun that doesn't fall into the normal category of like a procedurally generated one, you have to do that. Uh, next we'll go on to Spawn Sword. Now Spawn Sword is not just swords, that's essentially any melee weapon, so hammers, axes, spears, but it has a similar one as Spawn Gun. So Spawn Sword, level 10, and at the moment there is a color index, but I'm really struggling to get used, like, to figure out how to use it. So right now I just use Spawn Gord Sword 10, and that'll spawn in a random one, which we just got a candy cane. Let me, uh, let's see, time warp. There we go. So, this just spawned in a candy cane for me, but if we hit P, we'll spawn it. whoopsie, slash, spawn sword, 10. So, here's another sword, now we got a one-handed one, another one-handed, now we got a hammer, yeah, and these are all procedurally generated, and they're all level 10. Uh, and that's essentially the extent of it. You can't, it, it, there's no uh, specifying legendary or common, at least not to my knowledge, it might be. Uh, and I look like an ass right now, but I'm pretty sure there's no way to, to specify it. And if there is, I will update it and you know and kind of fix things. Uh, again, now we'll we'll go into uh, spawn item, and spawn item can be used to spawn in specific weapons and guns, swords and stuff. But it's mostly used for spawning in like uh, like okay, here's a great example of what you can use it for any item in the game can be used with spawn uh, item. All right, so here this thing I'm holding is like a fish. It's actually a legendary fish axe, and it's a it's a development tool, right? And you can get it. So if you're doing like a creative build, it's really useful to have something like this. And this uh, it breaks all blocks instantly, and it's got a huge mining area. So like, look how big that is. It can do that just in a click. And so if you want this, you use this is a super fish axe. So spawn item, uh, super fish axe. All right. So there it is. And now you can spawn it in and go to town. This is really good for like creative builds because right now. The, uh, there's not really much of a creative mode in the game. Oh my gosh. There we go. So, this is really useful, and we can we can do this with just about anything. Like, we want to spawn in some, some certain blocks. So, spawn item uh, dirt material. There we go. Now you can have a number. Spawn item dirt material 999. Bam. So you put a number after it to get that many. And the, the key here is you have to know the item ID because they're not always intuitive so like you would think dirt would just be dirt right but it's actually dirt material so uh, I'm gonna provide a, a link in the description to a website where you can look up the, in the item ID for every single block and item in the game so whatever you need you can just spawn it in and this is this is useful for a lot of things like I know I spent way too much time looking for an avian uh, like moon emblem like I'm talking hours and hours looking for it, and eventually I just spawned it in because I, I I was finding temples and they wouldn't have it. You know, it was it was getting ridiculous to have to to search that long uh, just for that item, just to progress the story a little bit. So I spawned it in, and, and that's you know that's a really good example of what can be used for uh, the next one. There is a there's a command for um for spawn liquid, but it does not work right now. And so like let's see here, like fill in the background. Here we go. And what this is going to do is it's supposed to spawn a liquid at the, the location. So let's spawn liquid. It has an item ID, which there's 11 liquids in the game total. Uh, so let's go with like 2, which I think is lava, and then the amount. But it doesn't do anything. Yeah. So if you want liquids, you have to use spawn item. So let's spawn item uh, liquid water 10. All right. So that'll give you that. And again, these are not always intuitive. Uh, like liquid water is, is intuitive. But if you wanted healing water, you have to do spawn item uh, liquid healing, and that's all it is. You would think it might be healing water or something. No, it's just spawn uh, liquid healing. So that covers that little bit. So for spawn item, spawn gun, spawn sword. Oh, yeah, now we have, I wanted to go over spawn monster and spawn NPC. So these are what you use to spawn in uh, NPCs and other AI in the game. Now, as of right now, I don't think there's a way to spawn in randomly made monsters like the ones you encounter on most planets. But you can do pre-made ones. So like ones you find in dungeons. And some really cool ones actually. Spawn monster. Glitch knight. Yeah, so this guy. He's really cool. Uh, you can spawn him in because he's a pre-made dungeon mom. Oh, so like, let's go him real quick. Come on, buddy. Die. There we go. So yeah, you can spawn that in, and there's actually quite a few I didn't even know were in the game. So like, uh, slash spawn monster, 
a heck blob. Yeah, so this little piece of meat here that's chasing me is actually a monster. And there's lots of stuff like that. Uh, all you do is slash spawn monster and the particular ID of the monster. I will link to the wiki page that shows all the, the pre-made monsters in the game. So you guys can spawn them whenever you want. Uh, now we're going to do in, uh, spawn NPC. So spawn NPC. And you can do things generic like avian. And this is just going to give you a generic avian NPC. Or you can do things like spawn NPC avian merchant, right? So this is going to give you the merchant variety. Yeah, so this guy, you can actually buy things from him. See? So step back. Let's get rid of you. And there's actually a little bit more to this. I didn't realize at first, but uh, spawn NPC penguin merchant. And if you do just penguin, it, it kind of bugs out. But if you do the merchant variety, it drops a little penguin. And this guy, you can talk to him. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You can spawn those guys in. And yeah, with, with spawn monster, you can do other things too, like um, chicken, spawn monster, all those little, like almost everything you find that's not randomly made, you can spawn in. Monster, robot chicken, I think that's it. Yeah, so there's those guys, the, uh, uh, the little chickens and animals, and you can get pets as well. Uh, whoopsie. Uh, what is it, um, pin friend, I think? Hey, there he is, a dog. I think you still have to capture him first, but... And I think the cat... Uh, I'm not sure. Is it pet cat? Oh, there it is, yeah. So it's pe pet cat. So that's how you use the uh, spawn monster, spawn NPC. There's some different varieties of, uh, of NPCs, and I'll, I'm going to link to the website, the wiki, and it can tell everything because there's quite a variety of them. Uh... That way I don't have to go through every single thing. But I wanted to give you guys a general rundown of how they worked. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, I'll be putting out more videos in the future. Please uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later.